Okay, hiya, my name's Danielle, this is my first video. Um, it was actually meant to be a tutorial, but it just didn't happen as I basically took too long to actually do it. Um, but I still wanted to make a video, um, I'm still going to post the look and all the details, so if you want that, go to my Instagram. Um, but another thing that I get requested a lot is how I got my job at Mac, so I guess I thought I'd go through that and my experiences and my opinions and any advice I can give to people. I've actually helped a couple of my friends who now work at MAG through the advice I give them so hopefully it works. Um, first thing I have to say is if you love MAC as a company, if you love makeup, um, if it's something you've always dreamed of, don't give up. I Before I actually got my job at MAC, I probably applied like five or six times and never got through. In fact, I applied when I was like 16, had no work experience at all, and somehow thought that I was gonna get it and it didn't happen. Um, but also, that whole I didn't have an experience doesn't always mean you're not gonna get the job, but I'll go into that in a second. Um, so the f time that I did succeed, which was obviously my last, um, basically I applied um, probably about, a year and a half ago now. Um, I've been at MAC for eight months. Um, I started in November 2015. Um, so I applied, didn't get through, um, yeah, didn't really think anything of it. I got through to the telephone interview and I was just like, yeah, you're not successful, fine. I was just gonna try again in six months anyway. Um, but I actually received an email six months after I'd applied for the previous role. Um, in probably about October saying um like you haven't applied for a while is there any this was just like Esther Lauder because if you didn't already know um Esther Lauder own Mac um and they actually deal with all the recruitment for Mac so I got an email from Esther Lauder saying was there any positions you're interested in let me know and I'll put you forward for them so obviously I was like hi yes um there was a position in my local Mac so I obviously said, yeah, that, please, make it happen. I luckily didn't have to do the telephone interview again because I'd already done it. Um, and they just said, yeah, you got an interview at the store. I was like, cool. Shit my pants a little bit, but you know, so for language, by the way. Um, so on the day of the, before the interview, obviously what I would suggest to do is do a lot of research on Mac. I would research the owners, I'm just going to throw out there the two Franks. Know their surnames as well. I'm not going to do your research for you though. Um, I would look for like the Mac AIDS fund. I would look about like our best selling products, what the reason you want to work for Mac is. And then obviously, like in the interview, they're going to ask about your personality and stuff too. So I would always have good things to say about yourself and attributes that you think you could bring to the team. Um, so yeah, I had the interview, went well, it was actually with the store manager, she's lovely, best manager I've ever had, um, and yeah, I, it, it just really went really well, um, I, obviously I didn't feel like it was going to happen because I just didn't think I'd ever be working for MAG, um, but I got through to the next stage, um, and they said, right, can you bring in like a model, so I was like, crap what do i do um but luckily one of my friends stepped in um and we went on the day to um my store where i work um sorry if i say um a lot by the way <laughs> so we went to the store on the day i went in i actually knew one of the girls that worked in my store already like i'd followed her on like social media for ages and we sort of knew each other through friends of friends sort of thing um, and she was like, oh, you know, just be yourself, stay calm, don't panic, um, and everything. And then we went outside and I met with the trainer. Um, and she said, like, right, today I want you to do, like, a neutral eye on her with a bold lip. So I um, obviously done the makeup. Um, I, was okay. I wasn't, like, overly chuffed with it, to be completely honest, but I was happy with it. I thought it was okay. Um... I like used a Viva Glam lipstick because I know that's a really important part of MAC. Um, at the time it was like the Miley Cyrus like almost orangey red lip and it was really bold so it fit like what my um, manager at the time had asked me to do. 
Um, I didn't, like, they just said, okay, yeah, we're just going to take a couple of pictures and we'll be in contact. I didn't hear anything for, like, three, four weeks. So I was like, okay, have with the job, it's fine. Um, and then they actually called and offered me a Christmas temp position, which at first I was a bit, like, disheartened by, obviously, because I was, like, I was in a permanent job um, at Urban Decay, which I'll go into afterwards. Um, and I was like, am I going to really give up, like, a permanent job for something that I don't know is going to be permanent? Like, I love Mac and I would never want to work anywhere else at the end of the day before I've got bills to pay. Um, but I went for it. I thought, you know, I'm never going to get this opportunity again, so let's do it. Um, I worked with the company until January. Um, and then they decided to keep me on full time. And I was over the moon, obviously. Couldn't be happier. And yeah, I've, it's been a real roller coaster. I've learned a lot from my colleagues. The team's amazing. It really upsets me when I hear stuff about Matt Girls not being very nice because in my store, I'm really lucky. Everyone is absolutely amazing. I've never heard a customer complaint because of us. Um, so that's obviously really nice. Um, so yeah, it's great. Um, what I was gonna like mention as well is you don't always need like a job in makeup to work at MAC. You can just be self-taught and really into makeup. As long as you feel confident to put makeup on people, then you can get the job. Because obviously, like I said, I'd worked for Benefit beforehand and then Urban Decay. Um, but I don't really feel like that was needed. i just done that because I wanted to learn a little bit more. I wanted to experience with different skin tones and everything before I went to MAC because obviously I felt like it was like the deep end if I'd just gone from my office job to Mac it would have been like oh okay hi so I done it just purely for like ease of my own mind kind of thing um but you don't always need it so I'm gonna wrap things up um if there's any questions please comment below and I will get back to you um thank you for watching um, please do subscribe because I promise there will be some tutorials. In fact, I might even do this look soon because I like it. It's nice. Um, so yeah, keep tuned. Bye.